How are you all doing? I hope you're all doing great and I hope you're all staying safe. Today's video is a video in which I try to get maximum immersion because you know, why not? As a lot of you may know, I've been playing a lot of Population 1 recently. Well, so it seems has the rest of the virtual reality population. So, when I got contacted by ProTube asking me whether I want to try out their gun stock for VR, I without hesitation said yes, because apparently they've seen me play Population 1 and they say that their gun stock is compatible with Population 1. So, I guess that's what we're doing this video. We're testing out the ProTube gunstock for the Oculus Quest 2, but I'm actually going to be using it on the Quest 1. And you may be like, why are you using the Quest 2 gunstock on the Quest 1? Well, that's because my Quest 2 is still not here, and I'm actually not 100% sure whether it's been shipped. I've received an invoice from Oculus telling me my shipping address, etc., and a new Oculus Quest 2, but I didn't receive a tracking number. So, this seems to work perfectly fine with the Quest 1 controllers. Of course, if you guys want to get one, there's links down below but if you do want to get one do get the correct one for the headset that you're using because you don't want to be missing out on the best possible experience you can have but for the sake of this video that's what we're gonna do also it came in this package and it has this cool little letter inside i want to read the letter before we go any further so of course inside here you've got the instructions all the accessories because you can actually get wrist wraps with this and i'll show you what i mean in just a second but it came with this cool little letter it says if you have more time let me tell you about the great adventure of your parcel your product was crafted in the great dwarven forges of air oh, airbore yeah let's just say that but it was stolen i am backed on a quest and it's in the mountain of faith that i snatched your parcel from the hands of the horrible hairless gobbish hobbish oh my god <laughs> this is what i mean guys this is me trying to read something in front of a camera then wayne enterprises specially sent us mr fox to check the quality of your product we are proud to have met his high standards the packaging comes from my favorite store in you want me to try and read these citadel my min <laughs> my friends <laughs> lovingly and with all due respect packed your order and placed it delicately inside then we entrusted your package to delivery express which brought it to you despite the thousands of parses? Pars? Parse? Parsecs that separated you. Now we hope you get the most out of your accessory. Again, thank you for your purchase. If you have any problems or questions, you can contact my slut. Proud servant. So th this is from Igor. Igor, thank you so much for your lovely uh, for your lovely letter. So of course I've put the thing together and I've kind of customized it. There's so much customization you can do with this thing, guys. Here it is. Uh, as you can see, I've put the Quest 1 controllers on it and I've customized everything, kind of like twisted it and uh, angled it to my liking where it's comfortable for me to have it because this thing is fully customizable. And here's the cool part. They pop off. They just pop off like that. And of course, if you had the Quest 2 controllers, you could also have the wrist straps because they come with wrist straps. So they'd kind of be like the mammoth grips and you'd be able to fully let go. Of course, I can't fully let go now because it'll just fall. So we're going to have to go bearless. Let's go play some Population 1. Okay, pretty dope. <laughs> let's get this on. Death, let's go. So, I don't normally play this game on my own, so I asked the Discord server if anyone would like to join, but I don't think anyone there has Population 1. So I'm going to need to do some gifting, that's pretty evident. I can't do the gifting just yet, which means, for now, we're stuck with playing on our own and hopefully not finding any trolls along the way. So I guess the first issue is going to be the fact that that's way too far. The tower? <clears throat> Ooh. This, however, might become interesting now that I have the gun stock. This would be nice. People...
So let me get those conclusions for you. So just before we jump into the straight conclusions, I want to talk about a few things. First of all, who is this for? Well, this is clearly for the players that need that stability of being able to hold both their hands together to take deadly aim. Now, I'm not very good at the game, so no matter how much of these accessories you give me, I'm not gonna get good at the game. But this really does give you that stability and I was able to get a few kills during that match even if I died at the end, haha, <laughs> very funny guys. Another thing is we will be doing more gameplay of this when my Oculus Quest 2 arrives, because I feel like it's only fair to give it its full potential with the Oculus Quest 2. That's the version I have here. This version is for the Oculus Quest 2. I feel it's only fair to get that done. And lastly, the links in the description are affiliate links. So if you guys are buying through them in any way, shape or form, they are affiliate links. You guys don't pay anything extra, but I get a little bit from it. So here we are. And uh, let me just say, I was horrified during that match because there was people and I am so scared of speaking to people that I don't know. But this thing, it's absolutely incredible. You know, it's, it's, I feel like there's just something about being able to hold your gun like this. I had to move this down a little bit because the guns in population one are a little bit smaller. So of course you can move this up and down just like you'd like it. And then you just tighten it down to have it in that exact position that you like and you can rotate this like so or you can rotate it down like so to again get the right angle that you like same thing here all of this moves but you need to uh you need to un uh, untighten these screws here but everything moves to your liking this is just the way i have it set up for mine and honestly this thing absolutely amazing if you guys are into first person shooters in vr and you're kind of doing it on a level in which you would like this kind of stability for your hands to be able to hold a gun stock like this and you're looking for a gun stock this is certainly a really nice one to have especially if you listen to this the materials that it's made out of are really really good these parts here are 3d printed which i love because that's environmentally friendly and that also means that if i ever wanted to i could print customizations to this on my own 3d printer so i honestly think this one's really really good again if you are planning on getting one do get one for the right controllers even though i see no issues with putting the quest one controllers into the quest two one and again they just pop right off like this i think my main issue in population one was not being able to find this while in vr i was just kind of like looking for it but then i got the positioning right and now it's just a matter of snapping it on same thing with the one here you just kind of need to get used to it and once you get used to it it's right there and of course you get the thing that hangs around your neck so then you can pop both off and you can just snap them back on whenever you're shooting so that you can fly climb walls etc really really cool and and while i do think that this will be geared towards only a certain amount of people that want to get like highest level of immersion in first person shooters I do think this one is certainly a great option. I do like the build materials. I love the 3D printing. And I think it's absolutely very comfortable, very customizable, and I love it. Honestly, I love it. Now, this video is called the almost perfect immersion to population one or something like that. And the thing is, this adds to immersion, of course, but I think we're missing something. Haptic vest. Be haptics, contact me. I want to review your products. If not, I'm gonna buy them. But like, if you want to, contact me, please. <laughs> because you guys all voted on me buying a haptics vest. So, I mean, if they don't wanna send me one, I'm gonna buy one. <laughs> So that's when we will get full immersion. We're gonna have the gun stock and we're gonna have a haptics vest and that is going to be the perfect immersion for population one. So that's going to be it for today's video, guys. If you guys liked today's video, please give it a like. If you guys disliked it, I guess this button works too. If you guys wanna see more content like this or just wanna listen to us talking on about conversations we have a discord down below we have a reddit down below and we also have a spotify podcast so in case you want to check out that spotify podcast links for it down below and yeah if you guys want to support the channel in any way shape or form we've got a store down below where we've got a huge sale happening until the first of december so make sure to check those codes out in the latest community post and that is going to be it for today's video guys if you guys liked it make sure to give it a like if you guys disliked it i guess this button works too but please tell me why down in the comment section below if you guys want to be notified about future content coming up on the channel daily make sure to smack the subscribe button with your forehead ding my bell and see you again in the next video peace